Okay, fundamental theorem of curls. So when we take the curl of your vector function P, okay, again, let's use the same basic format. Okay, so that means the integral of the curl of V over a patch of surface is equal to the value of the function at the perimeter. Uh, because remember that if you have a surface in T, if you have a surface, the boundary of that surface is the perimeter or the end boundaries of that surface. Okay, so again, may I repeat? Now the integral or the surface integral of the curl of your vector V is equal to the it's equal to the value of the function at the perimeter. So we want to know the value of the function at the perimeter, we use line integral. And it's supposed to be a closed line integral along the perimeter. So the perimeter in this case would serve as the boundary of the surface. Okay, we call this the Stokes theorem. Okay, now let's give you, let me give, let me give you an illustration. So for example, we have this uh, patch of surface. Okay. Say we have this patch of surface. So let me, I just duplicated the patch of surface. Okay. So let's say we have, remember this is a curl, diba? Right? So that means generally the vector has a, is basically rotating. So let's say that rotation happens like this, okay? At certain regions here, we have this So let's say we have this uh, uh, vector field inside this uh, inside this surface. Okay, so everything is uh, rotating counterclockwise. So the direction of the curve will be toward you. Okay, so if we sum all the curls within that area, it's the same as the value of the vector at the perimeter. So it's the same as, this is the same as getting the value of the vector at the surface. Okay, this is mostly useful when we have curling vectors. In our, in our subject here, it's usually applied to magnetism or electrodynamics for, elect, for uh, electromagnetic purity. Okay, so what do you mean by that? So for example, why is, why is, this, why is this the same? Because remember that these are vectors. So for example, a vector here will be pointing in this direction. But uh, adjacent to this, on the other side, another vector will point in the opposite direction because of, the, of this direction of the rotation. So effectively, these two vectors will just cancel each other. So the only components of this curling vector field will be on the surface. And that's the net effect of the surface. So just like your uh, fundamental theorem of gradients, uh, of uh, divergences or Green's theorem or divergence theorem, okay, 
This Stokes theorem can all, is, a, is a convenient way to reduce the uh, dimensionality of your integral. That is, from a surface integral, we can reduce that into a line integral, which is more, uh, which is basically easier to integrate rather than a double integral in this in, in this case. Okay, so we're going to use Stokes theorem and as, as together with the divergence theorem to convert or to translate uh, the integral form of certain of certain laws in the Maxwell's equation or certain equations in the Maxwell's equation from the integral form to its differential form and vice versa. Okay, so Stokes theorem and divergence theorem together with uh, uh, fundamental theorem of gradients are very uh, convenient tools to uh, to to uh, express ex uh, the same the same uh, to express the same loss in electrodynamics in different forms, whether that is in differential form or integral form. 